Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Marcus Codes. In today's episode I'm going to talk about brand indicators for message identification or in short BME. This video is related to my four-part series about the sender authentication package even though it isn't yet part of the sender authentication package. But you definitely need the measures that are in place in the sender authentication package to use BME. So if you haven't watched it yet, make sure to check out the sender authentication package series right now. I link it in the top right corner of that video. So let's go ahead. What are brand indicators for message identification? Basically, it's just another text record in the DNS entries of your sending domain. But on top of that, you now need a logo of your, of your uh, brand that is in SVG format. Um, and that's what you more or less publish with the uh, text record and it adds your logo right next to your messages in the inbox of your customers. So that's definitely a great benefit for branding, but what do you need to use it? You need to have um, DMARC in place, so SPF and DKIM are also prerequisites for using it. And for certain vendors, um, like Google for example, you also need to have um, a certificate that yeah, verifies that this logo is uh, yeah, owned by your brand and part of your brand, for which you also need um, a trademark for that logo. So how does such a record look like? As with SPF, DKIM and DMARC, it's just a text entry with a lot of parameters. The first one, as uh, with the other technologies, is just the version and indicating that it's a BME record. The second one includes the URL of your logo that needs to be used um, by the email providers um, right next to your messages. And the third one, which is optional, is the um, certificate URL, so where you provide the public key that you obtained uh, when doing the certification process. So what are the benefits of BME? Um, from a brand perspective, it's definitely the added value for your brand um, and that you stand out in the uh, inbox of your customers and can easily be recognized um, by your logo right next to the messages. That can also boost your deliverability and your inbox placement because customers are less likely to uh, yeah, have a spam complaint or um, delete your messages or something like that, um, which gives you a better reputation then and a better score for inbox placement. It's also an added protection against phishing and spoofing because even if um, yeah, malicious users use a similar domain like yours or um, yeah, maybe even your domain, um, the verification would fail because you have DMARC in place and even if they use a similar domain um, that, that has um, the verification, they wouldn't be able to use uh, your logo um, so your customers would recognize that there is something off. For mail providers there is also an added benefit because um, yeah, BME is something that brands want to have from a branding perspective and in order to get that they also need to include the authentication and security measures uh, that come with DMARC so it drives the DMARC adoption. Um, that's great for email providers because they know that they deliver um, the right messages or uh, valid messages to their customers then. This also enhances the user experience for their customers which is also great and uh, yeah they'd also like that for sure. And of course you get all the benefits that you have with SPF, DKIM and DMARC. A point that I'd like to add, um, it is not that widely adopted right now. So there's um, a pilot at Google where you uh, are also required to have um, that, um, that certificate that yeah, ensures that you own 
that logo uh, and you also need to be invited to be part of that pilot. For other providers like Yahoo, you don't need to be invited for uh, a pilot, you just need to publish your BME records and as soon as Yahoo decides that you uh, send a volume that is uh, yeah, trustworthy and that you have a great sender reputation, then they um, yeah, might display your logo because they think that's, uh, that everything is, is right and you have a, yeah, you also have a brand that is recognizable. So what you might ask yourself now is how can you check if that record is in place for a domain um, even if it might not be displayed in an email, um, email provider, um, provider's inbox. So you can do that right from your local machine using a terminal program uh, called DIG for Linux, uh, macOS and Unix systems but you can also use NSLOOKUP which also works on Windows. So let's have a look at that. Um, in our example we'll check the uh, domain for uh, Pinterest because I know that they already have BME in place. So let's type dig, um, then we um, add default dot underscore beamy dot pinterest dot com then we add txt as we are interested in the text records only and then we get um, the record where we can see we have the um, version we have the published svg image as well as um, the public key of the certificate we can also do that check using nslookup by just typing ns lookup, then minus type is text, then again default dot underscore dot pinterest.com. Hit enter and we get the exact same result. If we want to check that now using an online tool, which for BME I definitely recommend, you can use the official um, BME generator, which lets you generate um, that records, but also check those records for domains that are already in place. You also get a preview. You can preview in uh, regular mode as well as in dark mode. So there's uh, a lot of benefits for um, using the online tool for BME. So let's just do that and um, as well check it for Pinterest again. So we add uh, at pinterest.com, click on check BME, then it runs uh, certain tests and a short period of time later we uh, see the results. So we get information about um, the MX records, the SPF records, the DMARC records, as well as a short preview how it will look like in uh, customers' inboxes if they receive communication by Pinterest. Then we also see the BME record uh, as we already checked with um, the command line tools and also have the uh, insights into the certificate as well as the uh, SVG image, have um, yeah, preview images of um, certain display types or um, yeah, how it looks at different providers can also do a preview in dark mode so we can check how it uh, how it looks in dark mode and yeah we have everything available that we we need for checking a BME record. So I hope you like the insight into um, BME. Let me know what you think of it and uh, if you like that video please hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to stay up to date on further marketing cloud topics and yeah, be notified about um, further videos, please subscribe to my channel and activate the notifications. Thanks for watching and have a great day.